guys, One Piece Nation here today with my review of Naruto anime episode 485. Now, I want to make it a quick note that this will be a relatively short review, probably like 5 to 7 minutes at the maximum. Because I'm actually working on a midterm stuff right now, and I was barely able to squeeze out the One Piece review today. So I'm just putting this out last minute because I want to give you guys the review. As I said, I will be doing weekly Naruto review. Now, I'll go stay right off the bat. The animation is amazing. As is to expect from a Naruto Shippuden Sake Gaiden or Sake Shinjin or whatever episode. Once again, I'm a little salty that the canon doesn't look like this. But, whatever. Whatever. I am pretty, I am legit my salty mechanic didn't look like this. No, but I'm okay. Why don't we talk about the character Shima? I, re I, I forgot their names already. The two side characters, like Shima, like Chimi, and something. I forgot the big, the big, kind of like fat guy, his name, and the little, and the, uh, Shima, the little kid that is actually way older than she actually looks her. I'll be honest, they're the little group. The Chima, the kid looking adult thing. And that is the, the kid that looks like an adult. Shima, I believe her name is. Or, she is funny. I like her. I like her. I like her. She's funny. Uh, I'll have to admit this episode had a couple moments that made me burst out laughing. There was a great thing where Sasuke is like, she's older than me. And Ricky Mario just turned her and like, what? And like, it's just. It's so rare to see a Ruchimaru caught off guard and it's like, wait, repeat that? Like, this is, this is a weird ass guy. This is a guy that kidnaps children and experiments on them. And he's like, eh, what? Okay, that was great. But I do feel that the strong parts of the episode are the parts of the other characters. Yes, the bits are funny. In the beginning, it's funny at first have a little have a kid Chima just talking and talking to Sasuke. She's not a kid. I gotta get that into my damn head. But how Chima just trying to talk to Sasuke and be like his buddy, and Sasuke just like screw off. You can come with me, but I'm not talking to you. I heard like there's literally two pe there's three people that he will carry a conversation with. Kakashi when necessary. Naruto, and he obviously had that conversation with Sakura because, well, they end up getting married, and I'm pretty sure talking is part of marriage. Like, I don't think that Sakura is going to, uh, to, to understand his silence. No, but, um, that got annoying. After a while, we were like, we get it. Sake, they're annoying, and Sake not going to talk to them. We get it. Um, there's a lot of great bits with Uruchimaru. Like, I love the discussion between Sake and Uruchimaru about their role. About how, from ever, for, for, for all of them, Kani, Juga, Uruchimaru, Sake, all these criminals, they're powerful and they're smart. They may one day need, sorry about that, damn city. No, but um, they may one day need somebody with like the experience and brains of Uruchimaru. Or they may, they may one day need somebody with the strength of Sasuke. And in the eyes of Konoha, or the Hidden Leaf Village, it's kind of like, well, we could use them one day, so why don't we not put them in prison or kill them? Now, of course, is it in Naruto's opinion? Naruto's like, no, Sasuke and me are bros. Um, you can't hurt my buddy Sasuke. <laughs> but everybody else... I'm, if Sakura kind of like that too, but I'm sure in the back of Sakura's head, she's like, not with Sasuke, but Urushimaru, I'm sure she's like, I'm sure she does it with Urushimaru, like, she's a Konoha ninja, and Konoha ninjas, I'm sorry, are not the greatest people. She's probably thinking, ah, oh, if ever happened, and we need a mad scientist, we can get called Urushimaru, like, he can just be around to help us out. I mean, I'm sure Naruto not thinking that, but I'm, pr I'm pretty sure every other Konoha ninja is thinking that. If I were going to be completely and utterly honest with you guys. Now, I want to talk about the Taka reunion. Okay, it was nice, but whenever I, whenever Caddy was interacting with Taka, it was like fangirling, like, is this your girlfriend? One? I'm not sure what that's supposed to imply to Caddy thinks that little girl, she, she may be older than Taka. 
but she looked like a 11 year old mate uh, like, she looks like an 11 year old girl like Caddy wants to know when she's talking girlfriend I felt that was very weird I'm kind of like the episode is a because the writers of the episode and or the novel in that case are very self aware of her age of the, or her well, her appearance like how she looks young and I just kind of like did, did Caddy like the does Sasuke have a history with children? Is he a pedophile? <laughs> like, what was that? Like, why would you withdraw if he's an 11-year-old girl as a girlfriend? That was weird. It was odd. That's honestly, I the, the one part of the episode where I laughed, but I was also kind of like, She's 11! Okay, yeah, but there was that. I also like how Sasuke had no interest in codding, and it, it's funnier now. Even though we had no interest in Kadeen, we know about his relationship with Sakura. So we know it's not like Saki that had no interest in women. We know he has an interest in women. We know he's going to get back to when he gets back to the village, he's going to conceive a child with one. So it's just it's very ironic and funny that Kadeen is getting rejected. It's like, oh no, it's it just her. He he just doesn't like you, Kadeen. Like, it used to be like Saki was like a sex with revenge and stuff. No, no, no. He just doesn't like caddies. Which I found hilarious. I also briefly wonder if we're ever going to get to see the meeting between Sakura and caddies. I can imagine like Sasuke shows up somewhere and he's like, Caddy, this is my girlfriend or, or wife, whichever one. Uh, I'm not sure. And Caddy's trying to kill her. That'd be hilarious. That'd be the greatest episode of Naruto Shippuden ever. Caddy tried to kill Sakura because of Sasuke's choice. That'd be hilarious. No, but the but end of the episode, with them being in like the tournament, I liked that. One, I liked it because it showed there's still messed up crap going on in the Shinobi world. That was the conception that was kind of going around after the war Naruto attained like world peace. What Naruto and Kakashi kind of obtain seems more to be like, oh, let me get my, no, I'll go for a couple more minutes. No, but what Naruto and Kakashi obtain is more so peace between the nations. Like, there's no more war, there's not as many rogue ninjas, but there's still a lot of messed up crap. So what happens is the rich shinobi, but, but, not the rich shinobi, the rich people are buying shinobi to fight for them in the ring. And it's kind of like slavery in a way. Then you're like, oh, then you're like, you cannot leave until you win, and then you become somebody else in Shinobi. It's kind of like slavery Shinobi Pokemon. It's trading Pokemon. It's really weird. <laughs> but um, so they of course want to lure out Fuchi, and they want to lure out the antagonist. So Rushimaru enters Sasuke. Which is a bad idea because they were, now they're entering, entering Sake as a tournament that apparently involves buying people and slavery. Yeah. So I can imagine when they were to just get back to the leaf, like every, everybody besides Naruto and Sakura are going to be like, We knew he was still evil! <laughs> like, oh my god, that was not thought out on their part. But Saki gets annoyed, he goes in, and the guy I he's fighting, which I. it was uh, fighting for Fushin. Does such a vapor style, he annihilates him with Sasuke cloak. Okay, I wish we could have seen Sasuke fight. The problem is that I, the thing is, I don't care because it's not a fight. I mean, literally, the next episode is going to start with Sasuke appearing behind him, chopping the kid in the neck, throwing him out of the ring, and just being like, okay, we're done now. Like, that would have been the entirety of the episode. That would have been the entirety of the fight. But, uh, so. Sake gets uh, vape, vape on his coat, his cloak or whatever, and he sees an exploding human fall off one of the balconies, and that's where the episode ends. Um, I like that the episode, I feel a problem with arguing that we're going to have, though, is Sake is not a good character on his own. He, it just does not work. Like, I see why they gave him companions. I would have much rather than give him canon companions, like maybe had Jugo and Kadeen go with him, or better yet, have Sakura somehow becomes involved, and we can develop some of the magical relationship between them, because Sasuke obviously did not care about Sakura, either when it used to be good, 
and they just blame my doctor, you know, for getting there, for trying to kill her, because we all, honest, uh, Naruto effect. You know, at this point, I'm just talking about the Sakura thing, to the Naruto effect, and just saying, she spent so much time with Naruto, she's not going to forget anything anybody does. Like, you can murder her entire family, she wouldn't care. Like, she wouldn't care. Like, at that, at this point, that's, that's, what, that's, what, that's what I'm assuming. But, um, I mean, that's not a problem that, on his own, he's not an entertaining character. He really is. He's badass when he's fighting and stuff, but I mean, it's really boring to just see Sasuke just sitting there eating rice. Like, those things are really boring. They just don't work. So I hope they introduce some canon characters soon. Like, not, okay, I can't say canon characters. Some of the more, some of the cast. Maybe bring in, like, Shikamaru, Sakura, I don't know, Hinata. I know that Hinata's a fan, but I prefer Hinata over this Chino kid. Chino lady, hag, old, middle-aged woman, I, I don't know. I don't know how old she really is. That's probably going to be a plot point later on. Probably a Kenkei Genkai. But, I mean, I don't know. All I know is that I want this not gay thing to go somewhere. I want to get more characters that we know involved. Yeah, those are the best moments in the arc. There's just one great line from the Ruchimaru where he's like, where he talk, where they talk about Kabuto and how he's running the orphanage and how he's thanks to what Itachi did. And he's like, you do trust the power of Uchiha Itachi, do you not? And I just thought, this man has balls of steel. Because Sake wanted him dead. If he pisses off Sake, Sake can just kill him. Like, this man has balls. But yeah, this was a really good episode. Honestly, the only real problem is that the main plot, as you can tell, I talk more about the character, the animation, and the relationship with Stalker and Nicky. I talk about them than I do talk about the plot. But there isn't really a plot right now. The plot is find Fushin and learn about why humans are blowing up. That's it. And I also hope that next week's episode. I'm gonna make a prediction right now in the next week's episode. By the way, I have not read both the, the uh, light novels, so I can actually do discussions about this. <laughs> yes, also, I can do relevant Naruto discussions about this, because I have not read the light novels. So please, a lot of people have not read the light, no light novels. So if you have read them, just let us have our fun. Let us have our old school Naruto fun for a little bit, and just speculate the hell out of what's going to happen. I'm going to do a video breaking down the... Uh, entire timeline. I'm gonna do a one video breaking down the timeline and then after I'm done with midterms I have a big project I'm going to work on where I break down the entire history of the Naruto verse. I already did it with One Piece so I'm gonna do it with Naruto when I get time. I remember we'll come the intro tomorrow. I remember we'll come the intro soon though. Whatever. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the review. I know they were kind of scatterbrained and all over the place and just kind of me rambling but you have to understand guys I'm I don't have time to sit down and like normally I sit down and like jot down a couple points in my notes on my computer and I read them over and I'm like I'm gonna talk about this 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 and this I did not have time to go like rewatch the episode and take notes I don't normally take any notes the first time I'll literally go back skim through the episode jot down some notes and then I'll hop on camera I did not have time to do that this time because I have to really need to get back to work on my midterm stuff. So I'm going to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Naruto videos. I know I'm one page naked, but you can definitely expect at least one or two epic Naruto videos every week. I have a top 10 Naruto opening coming up. And, and as I said earlier, a breakdown of the light novel timeline. Which I'll probably just use in my History of the Naruto Universe video. I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, all that garbage. Have a great day, guys. This is One Piece Nation, signing out.